the next problem 1 kg of argon molecular weight 40 cv392 at temperature of 300 kelvin 100 kilo pascal is contained in rigid tank this is a rigid tank argon is present okay this is 1 kg now connected by a valve so there is a valve to another rigid tank like this where o2 0.8 kg is present so here t1 is 300 kelvin p1 so this is a i will say this is a and this is b i will say t a1 equal to t a1 is 300 kelvin similarly p a1 equal to 100 kilo pascals similarly here T B one is given as four hundred kelvin, and uh, P B one is given as five hundred kilo pascals. So they are separately there in the chambers A and B as shown in the figure here. Now the valve is open. The valve is open. Gas is allowed to mix until they reach a equilibrium temperature of three hundred sixty degrees. That is, T final is three hundred sixty degrees. Kelvin, 16 Kelvin, 360 Kelvin. Okay, so now once they mix, we have to calculate the heat interaction. First, what is the volume of each tank? Then, what is the final pressure? So, solution. Volume of each tank. Let us calculate V A is equal to what? Because M one R molecular of argon is forty. So eight three one four by forty into T T is three hundred divided by P is hundred. So that will be the <coughs> volume, which is zero point six two three five five meter cube. Similarly, V B will be equal to mass is point eight zero point eight into eight three one four by thirty two molecular weight into four hundred kilogram four hundred divided by pressure is five hundred kilopascal five hundred into 10 power 3 which is equal to 0.16628 meter cube so these are the initial the volumes in the two compartment a and b initial the individual volumes now the final volume will be what v a because this is a mixture argon goes to other side oxygen comes to this side and they mix thoroughly it takes some time but after the mixing both components are present in a uniform manner in both the tanks and the final temperature also is given as 360 so the final volume that is i can consider the mixture to be in both the tanks so we have just add the volumes of a and b that will be equal to 0.78983 meter cube So that is the total final volume. So now, what is the molecular weight of the mixture? Molecular weight of the mixture equal to one divided by sigma y i by molecular weight of i. Okay. Now, what is the mass fraction? You know, the total mass is one point eight kg. You now, once the mixture forms, individual masses we know. So from that we can calculate this. So this will be equal to one divided by For argon, it is one divided by one point eight, and molecular weight of argon is forty. Plus for oxygen, it is point eight divided by one point eight divided by its molecular weight is thirty two. So that will be the molecular weight of the mixture will be thirty six kg per kilo mole, and the R, the specific <coughs> gas constant. Will be equal to R U divided by 
molecular weight of the mixture which is equal to 8314 by 36 which is equal to 230.94 joule per kg kelvin. Now I can find the right for the final state Pf is the final pressure Vf is the final volume equal to molecular mass of the mixture into R of the mixture into T final. So what is Pf will be equal to M mix 1.8 kg into this is 230.94 into 360 divided by what is volume here 0 0.78983 so that will be equal to 189470 pascals or 189.47 kilo pascals that is it. Now <coughs> consider a plus B as the system. Okay, now then Q minus W equal to delta U I can write. Now A A plus B as system in A plus B as system delta V equal to 0. So W equal to 0. So, I can say Q equal to delta U. Okay, now <coughs> is equal to U final minus U initial. Okay, what is U final? Mass of the mixture into CV of the mixture into T final. Okay, say minus T reference. Some reference, the same reference temperature is there for all. Okay, that is the U final. U final minus U initial is what? M argon CV argon T final minus T argon initial. R1. So, not this, sorry, T here, TA1 minus TF. Initial, initially, argon has this uh, U. Similarly, plus MO2, correct, MO2, CVO2 into T B 1 minus T ref that is the thing. So, now <coughs> you can find this the T ref will actually cancel ok. So, I can write this first of all what I want is C V mix what the Y i C V i which is equal to 1 by 1 1.8 into 392 plus 0. This is for the argon 1.8 into this is Cv for the argon and Cv for uh, this is 696 which is equal to 572.11 joule per kg kelvin. So now I can say Q equal to delta U equal to 1.8 into 572.11 into 360. So, common T ref that will cancel minus 1 into 392 into 300 plus 0 0.8 into 696 into 400. So, that will be equal to 30407.28 joules. So, that is the heat answer. Okay, this is about this problem. Next problem 5 kilograms of equimolar composition of 3 gases. Equimolar means number of moles of these gases are same. 
with molecular masses of 16, 32 and 44 is contained in a rigid vessel. Okay. So, this rigid vessel let us say that is system 1. Now, 5 kg of the same mixture equimolar composition of this mixture gases at the same temperature and pressure is also contained in a piston cylinder arrangement where the piston is uh, frictionless and free to move. Let this be system 2. It is desired to increase the temperature of the gas mixture by 20 degrees centigrade from its initial value in both the systems, system 1 and system 2 from what will be the initial temperature. What is the difference in the heat transfer given to system 2 and system 1 in kilojoules. Okay. So, now what is the, so it is an equal molar, equimolar. That means, mole fractions of each component will be 0 0.333, 1 by 3. So, molecular weight of the mixture will be equal to 0.333 into, I will add everything, 16 plus 32 plus 44, which will be equal to 30.667 kg per kilo mole. Now, mass is given as 5 kg. Now, what I can do is for system 1 rigid vessel, okay. First law is Q minus W equal to delta U. So, we will assume in both the cases equal to 0. So, delta E becomes delta U. So, Q minus W equal to delta U. Now, delta V equal to 0 for rigid vessel. That means, W equal to 0. Correct. So, I can say Q equal to delta U equal to M into CV mix into delta T. Delta T is 20 degrees. Delta T equal to 20 degrees centigrade is given. This is for system 1, I will say Q1. So, system 1, I will say Q is Q1. Okay, now for system 2, what is that? Piston cylinder arrangement. What happens here? Q2 minus W equal to delta U. So, now W here is integral P dV equal to P into delta V. Okay. So, I can say which implies Q2 equal to P into delta V plus delta U which I can write as P2 V2 minus V1. So, P into V2 minus V1 plus delta U or I can say it is delta U I can write as U2 minus U1. So, I can say P2 V2 plus U2 minus P1 V1 minus plus U1 where P2 equal to P1 equal to P in this case. So, this is nothing but H2 minus H1 or I can say this Q2 will be equal to M into Cp mix into delta T. That is it. So, what I want basically is Q2 minus Q1 equal to M into delta T which are constants into Cp mix minus Cv mix. Okay. So, which is equal to M into delta T into R mix. So, which is equal to 5 into 20 into R mix is what? 8314 divided by molecular weight 30.667. So, that is equal to 
टू सेवन वन वन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जूल्स और ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट वन वन किलो जूल्स दैट इज आंसर सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हीट ट्रांसफर टू ए कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर प्रोसेस इन द पिस्टम सिंग अरेंजमेंट एंड कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस इन रिजिड वेसल विल बी जस्ट एम इंटू डेल्टा टी इंटू आर मिक्स बिकॉज द हीट ट्रांसफर टू ए कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस और इन रिजिड वेसल विल बी जस्ट डेल्टा यू चेंज इन द इंटर एनर्जी फॉर अ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर प्रोसेस द हीट ट्रांसफर विल बी इक्वल टू दि एंथल पी चेंज ओके दट इज द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट हिस्सा Next problem: 10 kgs of a mixture having an analysis on mass basis. Please understand mass basis: 50% nitrogen, 30% CO2, and 20% O2 is slowly compressed in an insulated piston cylinder arrangement from 100 kilopascals to 80 kilowatt to 500 kilopascals. Determine the work interaction. Specifically, the constant volume Cv. For these three components are seven forty seven, seven fifty, and six ninety six, and the molecular masses are twenty eight, forty four, and thirty two respectively. So this is the problem. Slow compression in an adiabatic piston. cylinder arrangement so that is the problem here okay pressure temperature initially is given final pressure is given so let us do this del q equal to 0 adiabatic then the first law can be written as minus del w equal to du or del w can be written as minus p d v equal to del u can be written as m c v d t okay now m is the mass and c v is the specific heat of the mixture mass of the mixture c v of the mixture here okay now equation of state p v equal to m r t Or I can say P equal to m r t by v. So I can substitute here in this. So this becomes minus m r t d v by v. Okay, equal to m c v d t. So m cancels. So I can say minus Say I'll say d v by v. I separate the variables equal to minus c v by r. Where the r comes and d t by t. Okay. So this separating the variables, integrating, I get natural. logarithm of v2 by v1 equal to minus cv by r into natural logarithm of t2 by t1 okay so because i want to find the final state temperature for that i am developing this from the first basic principles for an adiabatic process so i write everything here the pdv work is only present in the form of work is not present so displacement because piston cylinder there will be when you compress it there will be a change in volume so that will cause some uh, displacement work and the du is written as m cv dt for the ideal gas so <coughs> i can say v2 by v1 equal to t2 by t1 power so i'll say a where a will be equal to cv by r Yeah, T two A T U minus A. Okay, so A this is C V by R is called A. 
now in terms of pressure ratio i can say v2 by v1 equal to p1 t2 divided by p2 t1 equal to which implies p 1 by p2 will be equal to t1 by t2 power a plus 1 okay now what is a a equal to cv by r which can be written as cv by r is cp minus cv which is equal to 1 divided by cp by cv minus 1 or i can say this is 1 divided by gamma minus 1 a is 1 by gamma minus 1 so that means a plus 1 will be equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 divided by gamma minus 1 which is equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 so which implies i can say p1 by p2 equal to t1 by t2 power gamma by gamma minus 1 so this is the relation between pressure and temperature ratio in a adiabatic slow process okay so reversible process you can say when the slow process it is quasi static process so reversible process so reversibly adiabatic process we can say this relationship will hold good now i know pressures at two states p1 and p2 temperature at one state is known so t2 can be found from this i find t2 equal to 4 424.5 Kelvin. So, but for that, gamma should be known to me. Okay. So, what is gamma? We will do that first. So, R mix will be equal to 8314 divided by the molecular mass 32.33. How we get molecular mass? This is nothing but 1 by sigma y i by m w i which is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.5 by 28 plus 0 0.3 by 44 plus 0 0.2 by 32 you understand so now that is molecular weight of so this you find this r will come calculated as 257.16 joule per kg kelvin now cv mix equal to 0 0.5 into 747 plus 0 0.3 into 750 plus 0 0.2 into 696 equal to 737.7 joule per kg kelvin now cp mix can be calculated as R mix plus CV mix which is equal to 994.86. Now gamma can be calculated as gamma is now gamma mix correct gamma equal to gamma mix equal to CP mix divided by CV mix which is equal to 1.3486. Okay. Now, from that I can find T2 equal to T1 into P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma which implies T2 equal to 424.5 Kelvin. That is what we have got this. Now, we can find adiabatic so Q equal to 0. So, we can say W equal to <coughs> minus delta U. which is equal to minus m sorry yes so q minus w equal to delta u so w equal to minus delta u so m mix cv mix into t2 minus t1 so that will be equal to minus 106597 6.5 joules 
Okay, so this is the way it is solved. So, it is adiabatic, reversibly adiabatic compression process which obeys T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Okay, so I will stop here.